So anyway, I'm around the bench right now. See? So you tap this thing out again. I'm going to straighten up. So we're on flat edge. Straighten the edge. It's not going to But, um, so here comes this. You see the something about the buying the cape right? Various comes with the cape for usually rough as hell. And that's gonna be rusty as an anger. Alright, um so we got these, I think it's like six bolts or something to it. One of them looks uh see when you take some out, cotton looks a little bit different the way they're in, some are in two are in with nuts. Few of them are nuts, you can see that one here got a knot on the back of them. That one don't, that one do. But anyway, that when you're taking apart in case you, uh, in case you t lose it or something. But again. You know, you just hold in on it once I take it out. There's a nut on to push it back. And you see that, that screw there? That little edge onto it? That one doesn't, right? So that one there was in that big hole there. That way it pushes the button off the back. And then one more left. There we go. Get them off the last one. So now, you see how much uh, rust is inside here. So, there we go. Stand up like that, as you can see, this back your gear case there. And this is what you're looking at 90% of the time. So this is also why you would uh, you would buy a whole kit. Uh, what we thought was the pin guy on this one. We'll clean up a bit later and see, but you see there's no teeth on that draw gear. So should be in this case. Yep. So anyway, route should explode one. The only one I'd, I'd look at there first. So we're going to use some. We're going to have to use some of the gears. But you look at this one here. I'm going to dump it out in a second. This gear is going to be the first one to come out. As you know, we had a, a spacer behind it, and you see everyone like spacer there. If you want to look at a few minutes. But when you see this gear here, see how she's flat here. I'm going to go look at that. She's flat on that side, right? So when you put her in the other side, you look at the other one. See how the, the teed into it is pushed into the middle of the gear? So anyway, he was facing that way, like so. So when you push the shaft in from the other side, uh, it actually go it actually goes in and helps center it. So anyway, that's Okay, so I just took the wire wheel, cleaned it up. Get this shaft off of there. So we can get our part, get her cleaned up anyway. Lots of stuff down there is rotten. So what usually happens is that. That there snaps off where it gauges in here and you're stuck stranded. Now meantime this is the first one I took apart that the uh, that the gears were stripped out onto it. So anyway. See if we can get her out put on there. This piece here, 
something you want to pull out. Should pull out. It's stuck on the bearing. There's a bearing in the back of it. Wait for something to stick behind it. Okay, so it's the uh, next day. I stopped uh, recording a bit because the battery went dead in the, in the GoPro. So anyway, uh, let's have a look at some of the stuff we were at with this, uh, this piece here. So we went and looked at it. <coughs> I asked going off. There's really something to pick it up with. Now the last one off, this gear was stuck down in here. And anyway, usually every other one done, because all pulls up out of the gear. But anyway, the gear, which I'm going to wipe off there now, the, the bearing, that bearing was not only seized on the shaft here, it's not now, it was see, it was stuck down in there in the, in the housing. So to get that out, after prying onto it and everything, it didn't come out, what I ended up doing was Get around. That was all together in the housing. So I clamped a pair of voice grips on that, like that. That was in there, and I knocked the gear down, like so. So as I knocked the gear down, it uh, the gear pushed against the the bearing, and the shaft come up. So I got the shaft out. So right there, there then, I had the shaft out of the gear, and the gear out. So that's what's going right there. So now I got the shaft out. Obviously, it was it was rusty as anything. There's no grease on it. So anyway, uh, I took the wire wheel. I cleaned up the shaft, packed the hole full of grease, the same way you do a pilot bearing on a on a standard transmission car, and put the shaft down into it, hit it with a hammer, and it eventually pushed the bearing up. And it didn't do it at the first time. Actually, it was probably like it probably took. Uh, probably 10 times or so to get the bearing up out of it so now the bearing is up out of it so that's the bearing that's the gear and that's the old uh, it's the old uh, that. so anyway let's tree that that's how we got that out <coughs> the other two here bearing like they were all gone see the rusty is anything they were all accessible from behind turn it over uh, took a punch, just drove the bearing out. Not bad. So that leaves us where we're at now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to clean all this up and uh, I'm going to start assembling this piece back together. Which uh, shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too hard. Alright. Tapping a few bearings there now. Sad part about this, I got a set of bearing drivers upstairs. Anyway, so we're gonna we'll draw a tree them in. Get another sack or something like that, draw it in there. Go on. We got a bearing in here. And as you can see, it's the bearing. If you look at it, well, let me over there. Anyway, I just had, it's, a, it's the bearing, the gear, the shim. And this plastic piece here, which don't have any yet. Then it goes bearing, shim, gear, shaft. So that's what we're assembling her now. So we got the, the bearing is in. Yeah, put some grease through the holes and stuff, please. So we'll put that shim in. So we've got a bearing, which is already in, spacer, shim. It goes on one side of the shaft. Then the gear goes on the other side. Then you got some more stuff over here. So that's what we're going to put in next. But in the meantime, 
if you're going to be real dirty <laughs> time finishes it um, so the thing is this gear uh, comes with it and anyway um, this is the one that was on the shaft so uh, yeah so anyway, I got to clean that up uh, we looked a little bit earlier ran the part numbers this we had to keep this gear here so clean them up and put them into it the new gear goes on right here on the shaft because uh, you see when the uh, this the part was in the kit was in the green I don't see it there anyway but anyway so what I'm doing now I got the I got the spacer the shim and shove the gear on there now and we get the mesh in and that's that end of it so I'm going to clamp that in the boister now just to keep it all in one position and uh, we're going to work on this piece here and we're going to uh, assemble it so we're back so look at it now so we're just looking at the sheet here and we're dirty for it we'll get the sheet here and just following the instructions same thing gears up through there now shafts up through spacer pushing and then when it goes on there's another piece on the outside so we got we got all that on there now and uh, same thing with here so this is what we just put on here uh, if you look over this way so over here we just put this piece on remove that it only goes one way it only locate one way onto it so long as the space of the gear case I suppose Google put it on the other side but all this does is when he assembles this here uh, when you assemble this case here, you can see everything everything in there now is meshed together, the turn, right? So uh, all that does is this piece goes around here to make sure the gear don't move when he puts it on the machine. Now in the meantime I have seen people put it on the machine and uh, put all this in and put that together, but I don't know how well that works. So anyway now we're going to pack it with grease and we're going to put the cover on it, put the bolts into it and uh, We'll get that, we'll have that part assembled. So anyway, to grease. And we're gonna put quite a bit into it. Not how much was it do it, but we're gonna have enough into it. Okay, so we got a grease. Hopefully that's more than enough grease, which is good. So uh other than that, we are going to put it together. So you slide it down here. All right. So now it's only uh, put the bolts into it. See, they're the ones that just centering pieces into it so put them in first like so and this is a another piece we had left over after that goes down over that taps on this area here that's an outside one and that pretty well uses everything in the kit. So anyway, uh, just uh, put the bolts in. And we're going to tighten them up. Then we're back to the snow blower. 